Welcome back, everybody! And to my American viewers, Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> and if you're not watching us on Thanksgiving, well, I'm sorry, but you know, I don't know. Just whatever. You're, are you ready to go to court, everyone? I think that's a pretty good Thanksgiving thing to be doing. Just, uh, let's have a court. On February 25th at 9.47 a.m., of course. Yeah, that's Thanksgiving. I knew it. I knew it, right? No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, let's do this. This is the defendant lobby, all right. But there's no defendant. I've been trying to reach Lana all morning. Where could she be? And where's Emma, for that matter? It almost seems as if... Something's been happening behind the scenes. Is that Gant or... Edgeworth? It's Edgeworth. Edgeworth! Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Who the order owner of the 77777 ID number is. Well, I have a pretty strong hunch. Yeah, I know, right? Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. You know, the only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday is because there was still room for doubt on this ID record. If that number does belong to the who you suspect, then no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. True. Not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, I can call for a ruling. On the defendant, five minutes after the trial starts, Lana will be found guilty. But she didn't do it! I figured you'd say as much. That's why I came here, to hear what you have to say. This is the first time he's ever done something like this. Lana's hiding something, and the only way we'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. The truth. Everything goes back to the SL9 incident. Don't be stupid. Today's the last day of the trial. We don't have time to reminisce about the past. That depends on you. Dot dot dot. If she's found guilty, you'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened. Dot dot dot. I'll think about it. See you in court, right? Are you really going to see me in court, Edgeworth? Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure someone's just going to replace you randomly for no reason. This is it. If I'm ever going to find out what Chief Gant is, has on her, it's now. I still don't think... I don't know, I'm just saying, though. Whatever Chief Gant is blackmailing her with, it's not worth whatever the heck she's going to be going to suffer from a guilty verdict. I'm just saying here. February 25th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number 9... Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Scott. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Normally, this is when the prosecution puts forth its opening statement. Question mark. But before that, the police chief has a proposal to me. Chief Gant. Hey there, what's up? Morning, folks! How's everyone doing? Hey, Yaji! Been back to the pool yet? <laughs> no, I've been drowning enough as it is in my, in my work. Oh, that's a good one! Don't think I can top that! If you don't mind me asking, Chief, exactly what is this proposal of yours? Lana, that is to say, the defendant, has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. She wants to do what? Having heard what she intends to say, I feel she should be granted her request. In the end, it should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. Are you sure about that? What's this all about, defendant? I'd just like to make one simple request, and I'll be finished. Well then, what's your request? Your Honor, I'd like to- I'd like you to put an immediate end to this trial. Huh? I confess to all charges against me. On February 21st of this year, I murdered Detective Bruce Goodman. In the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. No, Lana! You can't! Your Honor, the defendant's claim does not change the defense's plea. In that case, Mr. Wright, I no longer require services. But Lana! 
Your Honor, I hereby forfeit my right to an attorney. The prosecution may lack direct evidence against me, but it has sufficiently proven its case through testimony and circumstantial evidence. I would like you to render your verdict now, if you please. Hmm. Well, the defendant certainly has the right to self-representation. Her request is legally valid, although this is an unprecedented situation. Indeed, it appears there's no further need to continue this trial, even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. This can't be happening! It appears the time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds a defendant... Uh, objection. One moment, Your Honor. Mr. Edgeworth? The prosecution has not yet proven the defendant guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Any ruling at this stage would certainly be premature. Come now, Worthy! I understand this is a difficult time for you. But why don't you just be a good little boy and keep your mouth shut, hmm? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I care for your tone, Chief Gant. What? Creating another fabrication to cover up your past mistakes. Sorry, but I'm no longer the naive little boy you would have me be. Dot dot dot. With this sudden confession from the defendant, it's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck behind the scenes. Some kind of deal, hmm? Not everyone operates as you do, were they? Dot dot dot. Hmm. I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to change its first witness. Oh? To whom? As its first witness, the prosecution would like to call Miss Emma Skye. I request the court hear her testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, I am exercising my right to self-representation. I don't think we need to contend. I don't care what you think, Miss Skye. Dot dot dot. The exposure of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, it would be an even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. Very well. The court shall grant the prosecution's request. That's okay with you, right, Chief Gant? Worthy! You'll live to regret this! Mark my words! Miss Emma Scott, please take the stand. Looks like Edgeworth has decided to take the horse by the reins. Am I even going to be doing anything, or is it just, I'm done? Like, I don't know, Edward's just going to do the rest of the thing for me here? Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Um, my name is Emma, Emma Sky. My occupation? I'm Lana's little sister, and I want to be a scientific investigator. Two years ago, you encountered the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark Killings. Is this correct? Yes. I'm trying my hardest to forget about that, though. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to recall those events one more time. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember this trial concerns the murder of Detective Goodman. Is an incident that was a resolve two years ago really all that relevant? Yes, it most certainly is. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Well, okay then. He sure gave in fast. Now, please testify about what happened to you two years ago. The trip to yester yesteryear has finally begun. Okay, sure. It found the lead to the truth behind this trial. Or will it? Witness testimony two years ago. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. A man came running in and took me hostage. Neil Marshall rescued me. But I'll never forget what I saw that instant. The man raised up his knife and then and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. It's a good thing you weren't harmed. I passed out. I don't remember much. That's understandable. However, Please tell me, Mr. Edgeworth, what does this testimony have to do with Detective Goodman's murder? 
Dot, dot, dot. That will soon become apparent, Your Honor. You've got to admire him for your, his courage, considering he has no evidence. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. The defense? But I'm confused, actually, because I'm not, I'm not the defense anymore, according to Lana, anyway. Two years ago. I was waiting for my sister's office. I was waiting for my sister's office. Yeah, totally. I don't know. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. Oh, my gosh. Was that, was that better, everyone? Was that better? No, of course not, because I said it completely wrong. I said it in a bad accent now. I was saying it. Okay. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. Okay, that was better. There we go. Now I read it correctly. Two years ago, the defendant was a detective at the police department, correct? Yes. She was second in command under Chief Detective Gant. My sister, she was the best detective ever. Yes, I remember. Chief Detective Gant and Miss Sky used to be quite the pair. I believe they shared the same office. That's right. I'd always sit at my sister's desk and dream about playing that organ. Oh, so that's always been there? Okay. I wanted to play it that day, too. The police department and the, the prosecutor's office held a ceremony that day. Lana promised me, promised to take me to dinner after she finished her work. Where does that sound kind of familiar? Uh, except this time it's Marshall getting murdered, not, uh, you know, not Lana, you know, anyway. Uh, a man came running in and took me hostage. A man? Yes, Joe Dark. He was a... A serial killer. Joe Dark was brought in for questioning on the day of the, that ceremony. We were desperate to get anything on him that would have lead to an arrest. When he saw his chance, he fled the room, right? Upon fleeing the room, Dark proceeded to take the elevator. He must have been in a panic because the elevator was going up. Then he ran in the sky in Gant's office. There was a lot of noise coming from outside, so I opened up the door to have a look. That's when I saw him. I thought you said that he burst in the office, though. Neil Marshall rescued me! What was the prosecutor doing there? That day, there were two people present during Dart's questioning. Detective Damon Gant and Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Gant was there, too? Neil Marshall had just rescued... Re rescued? Just received the King of Prosecutors Award. I guess Marshall was rescuing two different things that day. An award and a person! Oh my gosh! Good, good on you! Marshall. Young and dedicated, he went straight to the questioning room after the ceremony. I assume that would also be why he was the first to run after Dark. When Dark grabbed me, I I thought I was as good as dead. And that's when Prosecutor Marshall came running in? I, I don't clearly remember what happened then, but... What? I'll never forget what I saw that instant. Can you tell us about that? Mr. Marshall jumped on Dark just then. The lights went out. The lights? It was just about this time of year. There was a terrible storm going on, and lightning struck nearby. So the electricity went out. Wait a minute. If it was pitch dark in that room, you shouldn't have been able to see anything, right? Right, but just then lightning flashed again outside. That sudden flash left an unforgettable image of the scene in my mind. I see. I told a detective about what I saw then. The detective? Yes, Detective Goodman. He was in charge of the case. Detective Bruce Goodman, the victim. Hear more. So you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago. Yes. That's what's so scary about this trial. And you told Detective Goodman about what you saw. Yes, but... At the time, the words just wouldn't come out. That's why I drew a picture. A picture? Yes, I think she mentioned that before. Well, Mr. Wright, have you heard enough? Ask the picture. This picture the witness drew. I believe it is a very important meaning. But the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. 
Well, witness, would you mind if we added this statement to your testimony? Yes, Your Honor! I drew a picture that's seen once, but it seems to be have been lost. Well, I am not 100% sure about that. Have we even checked the actual list itself, or did we just kind of like, eh, no? Not, well, I don't know, I probably can't even look at it, but... Huh, maybe we did... Oh, right, er, my bad. I was like, oh, look at the back of it, of course, jeez. Ripped in half, so only parts remain. Well, that's cool and all, I guess. What's this different plot found in Chief Gant's safe? Evidence, of, it's evidence for something, but what? There's Emma Sky's prints. Well, anyway. I don't know if that's directly related or not, but let's see. Press! You drew a picture of the scene you witnessed, right? Yes, I wanted to do everything I could to help the investigation. I can still see it now, whenever I close my eyes. That's strange. I took over the case after Prosecutor Marshall died, yet I never received any picture. Perhaps the witness is mistaken. But I did draw it, I swear! It, I, I'm not just imagining it! This picture that Emma drew, that reminds me. I guess I should check the evidence again. Well anyway, let's continue. This scene was imprinted in an image in your mind. Can you please describe it to us? The man! The man, the man raised up his knife and, and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. That must have been a real shock. Even now, when I close my eyes, I can still see it just as clearly. Tell us, what were you doing at the moment? I believe you testified that Joe Dark was holding you hostage. When lightning struck and the lights went out, Mr. Marshall jumped on Dark and I was thrown aside and the two began wrestling each other. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I was watching them. Emma doesn't have any reason to lie, but Lana sure does. I need to get Emma to tell as much about this as she can. I was waiting at my sister's office that day, so that's it. All right. I drew a picture of that scene once. The man raised up his knife, that was the last one. Okay, so this is the one I want to go crazy on then. So let's go ahead and have a say since we reached the end of our testimony for the day. And then we'll go ahead and present the picture, right? Like, hey, this this is the picture you're talking about, right? It also doubles as an evidence list. Oh my gosh, Edgeworth, you didn't know that now, did you? I drew a picture once. Okay, just making sure it's the same one. Didn't like, oh, they didn't put me back in the beginning or something like that. So evidence list. Objection. Mr. Edgeworth. This little girl put all her heart into drawing that picture. And yet you still insist on denying its existence? Huh? Hey, I'm not the bad guy. All I'm saying is that the prosecutor for that case, I wasn't handed such a picture. That may well be. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold! This is... the evidence list for the SL9 incident. Please turn it over, Your Honor. Turn it over? Turn it! Ah! What's this? Yes, what is that? Hey, that's it! That's the picture I drew! Indeed! Two men appear to be wrestling on here. What's the meaning of this? What are you doing with that list? Me? Only the prosecutor in charge should have had access to that list. Huh? These lists... They're... They're different from each other. What? It would appear, Mr. Edgeworth, that the evidence list you were handed two years ago was incomplete. These two lists fit together to form one. You can see the marks here where they were torn apart from each other. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, it's quite obvious what happened. Two years ago, only half of the evidence in that case ever reached you. What? WHAT?! Order! Order! Who'd have thought the picture would have been drawn on the back of the list? That was handed to Detective Goodman in the questioning room! Wait a minute. If this list was torn in half, then that means... Your Honor! 
Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Your eyes are bulging from your head. If the evidence list was torn in half, then there might be more of the drawing on the back of Mr. Edgeworth's list. Dot, dot, dot. I think he would have noticed that, wouldn't he have? Yes. That's quite conceivable, Mr. Edgeworth. It's possible. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Are you serious? There's actually something back there? How, have he, how has he never noticed that? Is something wrong? Do you even have to ask? Earthquake! Sorry, Your Honor. There was something drawn on the back of my list. That is... That thing. Oh? Huh? Okay, then. Dot, dot, dot. That's that... That thing! That thing that was dancing in the evidence room. Apparently, the head of criminal affairs used this for his blueprint. I guess he was out of scrap paper. Dot, dot, dot! The evidence list has been updated. Or has it? Very well, witness. Well, let's see what's updated about it. A list of evidence in the SL90s. And the remaining half was found in Gant's desk. Okay, then? Sure, yeah, anyway, let's just, let's move on with that, shall we? Witness! Will you please testify about this picture you drew two years ago? That, that, huh? Oh, yes, sir! Your Honor! What's wrong with Emma? She seemed to be thinking about something when she saw the picture. Apparently so. Witness testimony. Emma's picture. This is the picture I drew two years ago! The flash of lightning was so bright all I could see were shadows! After that, I must have fainted! The picture shows exactly what I saw that instant! Do think a flash of lightning could burn such an image in your mind. Thanks to that, though, she was able to show us exactly what she saw. Well, I don't see any contradictions here. This clearly shows Joe Dark about to murder Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Dot, dot, dot. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Cross-examination. Emma's picture! This is the picture I drew two years ago! Are you sure about that, Emma? Are you absolutely sure someone else didn't just draw that randomly? Maybe you're forgetting. I mean, it was two years ago. I mean, heck, you know you know how good I am at remembering things from two years ago? I'm not very good at that now, am I? I don't know. This is the picture! Hold it! Did you draw this picture right after the incident? Um... I think I drew it two or three days later. At first, I was in such a state of shock that I couldn't do anything! During that time, the detective team was re reorganized. Detective Goodman was placed in charge, under the direction of Damon Gant and Lana Sky. Two or three days later, the memory should still have been fresh in her mind. Excuse me, witness. But can you please tell us why this picture is painted all black? The flash of lightning was so bright all I could see were shadows! So at the time you didn't even know it was Mr. Marshall who had come to your rescue? No, I couldn't see him clearly. The lighting was so bright, and I was knocked to the floor. You were knocked to the floor? Dark had a tight grip on me, but when Mr. Marshall jumped on him, I was knocked away. I turned around, and that's when the lightning flashed. Poor Emma. I'm just glad she wasn't hurt. What happened after the lightning flashed? After that, I must have fainted. You mean you didn't see the actual murder take place? No! I I'm sorry! The flash of lightning only drove off the darkness for a split second. Not only that, but the trauma of the situation understandably caused the witness to faint. Do you really need to torture this girl any further? What?! Hey, I'm not the bad guy here! Anyway, this picture... This picture shows exactly what I saw that instant! Are you sure about that? 
sorry for asking so many times, but are you sure you drew exactly what you saw? Of course! This is the exact scene! I wasn't influenced in any way from your talks with the detectives. Are you insinuating we somehow manipulated her memory, Mr. Wright? No, no, of course not! Better watch out or he might find some way to cut my salary. <laughs> yeah, he might. You never know with Edward sometimes. I drew this picture before I heard anything from the detectives. So I don't think anyone's story would have influenced me. Mr. Wright, is there something that's bothering you about this picture? Huh? Oh, well... Dot dot dot. That's strange. She claimed that this is exactly the scene that was imprinted in her mind, and yet, there's clearly a contradiction here. What would that be exactly? Hmm. I wonder. Oh, the fact that the knife is white and not dark too? Yeah, I don't know. This is the picture I drew two years ago. Oh, that's actually just a repeat testimony now, isn't it? Okay. Hmm. There's clearly a contradiction here, so what's the contradiction then? I wonder. I do wonder. But that does make me... That, I really does make me wonder, though. Like, what about the picture? The picture is not as it seems, apparently. You think it would be as it seems, but it really isn't. Because that picture is all like, oh, I'm, I'm dark right now, so, you know, it's cool and all. So, let's see. A switchblade knife. Mm, what else we got here? A screwdriver that's probably unrelated here. Oh. Oh, no way. No way. Are you, no, 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 no. That, that's got, that, really, no. Could that be? Could that really be? I'm looking at that. It's like, just makes me wonder. It's like, could it have actually been a screwdriver? Oh, my gosh. But no, 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 no. That wouldn't make any sense, though. Or would it? Because what, what if it was Neil Marshall who murdered Joe Dark? But that wouldn't make any sense, because he was... Sentenced to death, right? Let's see. Where's okay? Where's where's his autopsy report? There it is. Stabbed in the back, died from punctured heart and lung. A knife tip was in the wound. Mm, I see. Single stab wound, piercing heart and lung. Died from blood loss in under ten minutes. Weapon found in wound with missing tip. So then, we see we see that picture. It looks like he's going to be stabbed in the back, right? So then, can I go back real quick? This is a picture I drew two years ago. It was flash lightning. After that, I must have fainted. The picture is exactly what I saw. It doesn't look like he's being stabbed in the heart, though. That's strange. Okay, so I look at this, and then I'm like, hmm, maybe he's not being stabbed in the back after all, or maybe he's not being stabbed in the in the front, I should say. So I'm gonna look at this. Goodman's autopsy reports. Neil's autopsy report. What do you think, everyone? Do you think this is the answer we're looking for here? Stabbed in the... Wait, what? Single stab wound, piercing heart and lung? Oh. Huh? Stabbed in the back, but... The... Oh, okay, I thought when they said heart and lung, it was gonna be like, okay, that means you got stabbed in the front. No, then, okay, because so maybe that's not really contradicting itself after all. Sentence, death, okay, whatever, head prosecutor, eh, executive, okay, that was page four. Damien again, head invest, no? What could, what could be the issue here? Found in the chief's office, um, did I even examine this? A clear handprint can be seen in the leather cloth, print belongs to Emma, I think I'll keep this information to myself. Yeah, but that seems to be unrelated, though. Also, it seems like his hand is kind of floating in the air a little bit. So then, what is the issue here, everyone? What do you what do you see? What exactly do you see as the issue here? I wonder. I wonder. I don't. I don't actually know what the issue is anymore. I thought I was onto something. I was about to. I was about to present the autopsy report, but then I realized, oh, it says back, not front. So, all right. I kind of swear it's a chest somewhere, though. I guess not. I guess I just fill in the blank myself. Like, oh, heart and lungs. That must mean you got stabbed in the chest, right? Of course. But it doesn't, yeah, it literally says nothing about it being stabbed in the chest, though. So it's not like the evidence is contradicting itself or anything. That'd be kind of weird, actually, if it was. Evidence from the SL9 incident, final fragment found in Chief Gant's safe. Blood traces. Are the blood traces related? We didn't even get a test on that, did we? 
Dark red stains must be blood traced from the incident two years ago. Only the fragment on the chief gets off the skull. Blinds remaining on it. Okay, then. I don't know, everyone. This is a hard piece of evidence here, but maybe... Maybe... I don't know. I don't know if that screwdriver is related at all, to be honest. So, wait. Maybe it, it's it's already missing the... Is it already missing the tip? Is that it? Let, let me look. Can I look at the blood stain? No. Maybe not. That's not as written on a small tag attached to his knife. It was a weapon used in that incident two years ago. And has known many victims. That's why I'm a little bit confused, though. But maybe... Maybe it's already missing the tip, because that looks like a very... I don't know, it just looks like a very square knife, if I do say so myself. Huh. Well, that's, if that's the case, then... Huh! Should I present the knife? I wonder. I wonder if I should present the knife, or when... Maybe... Oh. Huh. The halberd was removed? What if the halberd... What if that was the weapon? Hold on a second now. I'm not convinced, to be honest. I honestly am not convinced, but at the same time, I can't I can't rule that out as a possibility. Wait a second. Was this picture taken? No, I don't. I don't freaking know. Part of the award ceremony, but I see that pot in the background, so that also makes me wonder. There. Wow, this is this is really confusing. There's gonna be a lot of like parts to this where I have to think. So what should we try then, everyone? Mm, frown it. Evidence from the S9 incident, this has nothing to do with her testimony, though, does it? Okay, this is what I'm gonna try, actually. I'm gonna try double-pressing everything. Sometimes you gotta double-press everything. I don't think there was any testimony at it, was there? Not that I'm aware of, anyway. Yeah, this is... Kinda got me a little bit stumped, if I were to be perfectly honest, everyone. I might... Have another guilt. I, I just, I shouldn't have skipped that. What am I doing, everyone? I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, though, I think... I don't know. I don't know, I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna be guilty. I, I'm, I'm calling it right now. I have no idea what the answer is gonna be. I just need to go back to this one because I didn't press that one now. So that doesn't have anything new. I figure just, you know, if I press the ball multiple times, I turn around. And then, okay. Hmm. Why would he stab him in the back with that angle, though? That's what I don't understand right there. It seems kind of weird. Like, why? Why exactly would you go in that direction right there? It's like you kind of have him front first, so why would you. Uh... Yeah, I don't know, everyone. I don't know. It's really weird. There's apparently an obvious contradiction here. I don't know what that obvious contradiction would be. Alright. I'm gonna... You know what? We're over 30 minutes anyway. I think what I'm gonna do... I'm going to... I'm going to get, think about this for a little bit longer here. And when I come back... I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the, today's episode. When I come back next episode, I will hopefully have a better idea of what I want to present for what here. Not gonna cheat everyone, don't worry, I'm not that kind of person, but still though, hmm. I don't know, just don't know. I'm not I'm not gonna present anything off screen, because that'd, be, that'd also be cheating too, but either way, I wonder, I do wonder what it could be. I do have to say though, if I end up being guilty at the start of the next episode, like I present five things, I'm guilty, I will probably have to make a cut though, because we've been kind of hung on this for a little bit, a little bit of a little while anyway. So anyway, everyone, I, I guess we'll do that next episode. I'll see you all later. Let me know what you think the evidence is. I will be continuing this, of course, and so whatever you say, it won't be a spoiler, at least for me anyway. It might be a spoiler for the rest of the comments section, but not for me anyway. <laughs> Alrighty then, everyone. <laughs> the cough returns. No. I'll see you later. <laughs>